Can, can we do it, please? This is how you do it. All right, let's do it. Wait, it, wait, hold on, hold on. Is there an animation? Do we have an animation? After this. After this. Okay, go it's ahead. A, we have a procedure here, Eric. Got Eric. <laughs> I, Fuck, fine. <laughs> That's how we do it on <laughs> Shit, Shit, Internet, Internet Apologists Apologist Say. say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. <laughs> you got shit all over before, your face. Huh? I don't think you dragged it out long <laughs> Not, enough. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, they're looking at you like you got you got you got something on your face. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got something yeah. right there. Yeah. Uh, and now, after that dramatic intro, I have to find the tab where I put that thing. It's it's it's, it's okay, totally okay, in okay, there. Okay, okay, okay. The number of tabs Wait you have open right now is giving yeah. me anxiety. Uh, <laughs> oh, really? This is a really small number of tabs. You should see my work computer. <laughs> I we saw need to my have friend's an computer earlier, and ha- they had like they're writing a paper right now, and they had like thirty tabs open, and I was just like, "Oh, so I can't." Uh, well, while I you look it up, up, while you do look it up, I, I just want to tell Jen in the comments that yeah. you're loved. Okay, okay, go ahead. Totally, uh, Justin Looney on Facebook, a very frequent contributor, and we couldn't do the show without you guys, and that goes for everyone who posts to hashtag Nonprofits News and and contributes to the show that way but uh this came from foxnews.com slash opinion oh. oh no wait isn't that just foxnews.com <laughs> <laughs> oh touche <laughs> a little redundant so somebody needs to refactor their uh their web context paths yeah don't they call that fox and friends <laughs> oh man um and it is by a douglas mckinnon who asks a, the, the very serious question of our time, how long will I be allowed to remain a Christian? <laughs> that was the deeply dismaying question posed to me by a friend with four young children as we discussed the plight of the Christian faith in America and around the world. Oh, man. You're allowed to be a Christian until we knock on your door. We're going to take your guns. <laughs> all right. We're all on the George Soros, like, uh, payroll, right? You got your check this week, right, EJ? My check? Yeah, yeah. We're, okay. We got, got that Got that George Soros money, you know, us. We're, we're working gonna, with the Illuminati see, Trilateral Commission. I thought, you were, I thought you were going a different direction. No, oh. no, no. It's us <laughs> and the Bilderbergs, right? We're getting together and we're just going to, like, take over the world. But we're we got to bring someone of the same gender as you and make you marry them. Well. Oh, right? Of course. Just, just force it. You know, we're just going to go sodomy right just immediately. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. See, um, I, saw, I saw Book of Mormon recently, so my brain mm. immediately jumped to, hello, my <laughs> name is EJ something, <laughs> <laughs> and I would like to share with you the most important book. I don't know the lyrics. And, and it's like yes. blank because it's atheism. Right? God delusion. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just like, oh, oh my gosh, yes. that would be funny. <laughs> All right. With each passing month, that shocking question... Will how long will I be I'll be allowed to remain a Christian? Mm-hmm. Becomes more relevant and even more disturbing. So, I <laughs> I would like to know what this person is thinking. The trend is because I mean, evangelicals supported Donald Trump by an overwhelm like a historic margin, and Donald Trump won and has been president. So is. Trump helping them or not? Are things getting better or worse? I I think that they've they're fabricating this entire separate world where they're being persecuted, and I'm wondering how to capitalize on this because we're not doing it right now. But uh-huh. apparently, if they think that it's like this, uh, I say we move in. Yeah, we could just start <laughs> actually this. persecuting them, and they wouldn't even <laughs> notice the difference. Well, and especially because it's like ten, what, what nine to one. You know, mm-hmm. odd, odds against. So we're going to need to, you know, keep them real close together because if any of them get, like, we're boned. Oh, yes. I just yeah. really love the panicked tone of this article. Yes. It's very amusing. <laughs> Please keep I'm reading because I want to savor it. <laughs> to say that Christians and Christianity are under a withering and brutal attack in certain areas of the world would be an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was wow. reading that sentence like from your screen and just trying not to. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that, was, that, that was a little sneaky there because, I mean, presumably the author is in America. So why are we suddenly bringing up certain areas of the world? Because all also, Christians are the same. How fucking weaselly is that? He doesn't even identify which area of the world. All no. of them. It's all of the areas, oh, yeah. including 
including yes. the ice wall around this flat earth. Oh, wait. Here we go. Yes. Here we go. Uh, sorry. Uh, I jumped the gun there. In various parts of the Middle mm. East, there is a genocidal cleansing of Christians being carried out. Women, men, and their young children are being slaughtered because of their faith, and world leaders and most of the media turn their backs in bored indifference. Really? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, source? <laughs> yeah. I, so I turned... I, I mean, yeah, that's happening. I, well, I, sure. I, I chose uh, not to pick two separate articles that happened this last week of atheists yeah. being murdered in Middle Eastern countries. Really, do we want to go there? Are there's, we going to pull out yeah. our measuring sticks and find out who's more persecuted? There's a lot of people getting murdered in a lot of places for a that lot of true. reasons. I mean, look, there's 7 shitty, billion but... people living in different parts of the world. I mean, listen, uh, <laughs> nobody should get killed for what they believe or who they are. Yeah. But also you as a Christian in America are not in danger because a Christian in the Middle East got hurt. Yes. Well, he was yeah. waving in the direction of Christians in the Middle East. But, uh, yeah, spoiler, we jump straight in the next paragraph to how bad Christians have it in the United States. Oh, uh, please. Here in the United States, Christians and Christianity are mocked, belittled, smeared, and attacked by some. <laughs> He's a word. <laughs> he undercut his own <laughs> On a daily statement. basis. Yeah, I mean, maybe if you want to build up the point, like, like, build a thesis about how United States Christians are, are persecuted, don't lead with the Christians who are being murdered, because then you just make that uh, that next paragraph look a little petty. Yeah. <laughs> also, I mean, not to put too fine a point on it, everyone is mocked, belittled, and smeared. It's called the internet. That's <laughs> just the way things are going these days. Yeah, I, I, I mean... I just love the ugh. buy some... It just, it's by so some. delicious in this statement yes. of we're mocked and belittled by some. Isn't it, isn't <laughs> it yummy? If he, said, if he said all, you could technically disagree with him. But mm -hmm. if he says by yes. some, it's ambiguous enough that you can't say, well, no. Mm -hmm. Are we some right right I here in this room? I think we are. We're yeah. We're mocking him. <laughs> we sure are. <laughs> all right, right Nostradamus. So. What else did he have to <laughs> yeah, I will belittle what you else all is necessary and you deserve all of the belittling yeah i just uh, how many weasel words are we up to i mean we've got uh <laughs> good, in in certain areas so. no i mean i i've counted two solid ones and i mm -hmm. think we got more coming all right let's go uh and then buy some this is a bigoted practice that is not only increasing exponentially source but is being encouraged and sanctioned by a number <laughs> on the left. <laughs> Wait, okay, hold on. What bigoted practice? Because <laughs> mocking you isn't necessarily bigoted. Like, it can be. Can be. Okay. It can be, but it, is it automatically? Because he just says this is a bigoted practice, as though mocking, belittling, smearing, and attacking are a practice? <laughs> sure. I... Well, just ho however the number is, obviously he thinks they're powerful. And that really makes me wonder because I feel like we're on the outs with this. And so I just want to backtrack just a little bit. Yes. George Soros, Bilderberg Group, Trilateral. If you're listening, <laughs> my name there, is Eric Murphy. There's a donate button on top of the video <laughs> that you are Please. That you may be watching right now. Consider donating to the ACA. <laughs> the ACA is a 501c3 nonprofit, yes. and your donations keep the lights on. So, uh, Come on, come on. <laughs> okay, come on. I, I am on. actually going to maintain a list oh, uh, of of all the weasel words in this article. So, right. so if, we got various parts. Mm -hmm. uh, we got buy some, buy some. I'm just going to keep shilling if that's the <laughs> yes. Uh, and then our third one we just got was uh, uh, to, uh, to a number. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, continuing, too many of those who worship, I'm counting that one too, hmm? uh, <laughs> too many of those who worship at the altar of political correctness have oh. deemed that Christianity should no longer be respected. That is true. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it, yeah. <laughs> 
Rather, they assail it on a regular basis in a coordinated campaign to weaken the faith, faith and its base. Man, I didn't know there was a coordinated campaign. I want to get involved. Right, um, that's what I'm saying. Feel that coordinated. <laughs> I, well, I'm, I, and have you been to the uh, political, the Church of Political Correctness? I mean, last month we read that that article from the Christian who had visited the American Atheist Convention. You remember that guy? Oh, I do. Yes. Uh, well, and so he couldn't wait to, uh, to jump on the fact that, well, there was a the Christian convention in town like last week, and there were 10 times as many people there. Mm. Uh, I, I mean, you, you guys got to pick a... Good for <laughs> you, know, you. Are you persecuted or are you doing great? Yeah. It depends on the day. Oh, gosh, what a good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the prevailing view in... Much of the media, and that that's five. He just really likes to be vague enough that yeah. you can't technically disagree with it. <laughs> is that Christianity is aligned with Republicans, also true. <laughs> mm -hmm. Conservatives, or the views of President Trump, and therefore must be diminished and made suspect. You know, I like that they the took... total non sequitur. But I like that they took yeah. the, the words of President Trump and did not include it in the Christian or Republican camps, but it's kind mm. of in its own little subject. That's kind yeah. of fun. <laughs> right? well, yeah. Also, they, they should be diminished and made suspect, <laughs> not just because of those three associations, but also just because they are suspect and, right. <laughs> and worthy of being diminished because they don't contribute positively to yes, society. Right. <laughs> but, and they're also fake as shit. Christians, Republicans, conservatives, and... Whatever the hell you are. <laughs> but, but you're in Christian, our group. So. Yeah. <laughs> Just I guess we have to count him. Reanimated orange troll doll I just things. Hate, I just hate the combination of president and Trump. <laughs> uh, just every time I just ugh, cringe. Oh. The New Yorker just described the opening of a few Chick-fil-A restaurants in New York City as pervasive Christian traditionalism and... A creepy infiltration of New York City. That's some guy writing an opinion column. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> an opinion column is not the same. Th you know, I just really love yes. that he uses an opinion from a different, more valid uh, <laughs> organization. Well, I mean, the New Yorker yeah, it's, is... It's still, not, it's still not great, right. but the point is he used an opinion article... As though it was a, a proper news article to yes. like validate his own of like this opinion is is a, is a proper news news article. So this this opinion that I'm writing is right. At least yeah. they, he had the good graces to link the article instead of just throwing that out there with no context. Uh, we're running out of time. Uh, Christianity is an infiltration to some <laughs> on the left. <laughs> what? I didn't even uh, get an infiltration. Uh, to yeah, what? I, I'm starting to skim article. a little bit. I gotta oh. be. I gotta oh, okay. be clear. Um, but that sentence was standalone. It's not in a paragraph. Yeah, in you college really like they the now MIT. teach about the evils of Christian privilege. Hold on. <laughs> yes. That's not how privilege works. Hold on. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> privilege is not necessarily an inherently evil thing. No. It's just a way to conceptualize the balance of power. Right. Okay. Do they teach about the evils of that in many of your they classes? Don't teach what about, what okay. are the titles of those classes? Uh, Christians are evil. No, uh, my friend did take a <laughs> Christians class. Christians are evil 101. My friend yeah, did take uh, a class yeah. called The Rise of Christianity, but that was literally just about the history of the Christian faith, mm -hmm. and it wasn't a religious class or anti-Christian. It was history. It was a history class, yeah. <laughs> but that that's he fundamentally misunderstands the idea of privilege because privilege is meant to be a way that we can talk about the different structures of power that exist within our society and so it's a way of measuring if you have more privilege it means you have access to more power that doesn't necessarily mean <coughs> you absolutely do have more power but it's a way to, to conceptualize this because there's very very complex interplays of power so it's not evil to have privilege you just have to be aware of it but that's besides the point. I just get really frustrated with the way people talk about privilege as though it's... So, uh, 
seriously, we're running out of time, and I'm disappointed that I'm not going to get to read this whole article, but I feel like we've got a theme going, and I'm just going to sum up the rest of this article by doing Control-F for the word sum. <laughs> and many. <laughs> like yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll go much. for many next. Uh, some, uh, being attacked by some on a daily basis. Christianity is an infiltration to some on the left. Infiltrating what? Uh, your cong- If you're a practicing Christian, your organization will become a target of some sort. It is only a matter of time. Ironically, in some very real and ominous ways, it's as if we're being transported back to ancient Rome. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, and that one is a headline to something linked. Uh, okay, many. Too many of the... Uh, there's only two of those. Too many of those who worship at the altar of political correctness. And why do so many on the left in the media, entertainment, and academia not practice that most simple, loving, and humane of rules when it comes to the Christian faith? What's that? Is that the do unto uh, others do as unto you would have golden do rule. unto you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you just need to... Wow, s- quit yeah. being such a and that's fucking hypocrite. <laughs> Maybe we'll consider... Yeah. If Jeez. you search so, you'll find a lot too, I bet. Oh, there's a lot did, of so's in there. Will so count? Uh, right. Actually, not that many to do so, and that there doesn't count. There were a count. lot of so's. Why do so many? Yeah. Go figure. It felt so like So and one. many together. Oh, wait, much. Much. Good thing I wrote down these things. <laughs> nope, only one of those. Uh, and then we had a number. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, I like that one. Uh, and we already did some, right? <laughs> I had to write an op-ed for a class yes. like two semesters ago. And if I turned anything with like this level of bullshittery in, I would have gotten mm-hmm. an F on that. Yeah. 